Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a really easy way to do a interesting raggedy natural kind of border like you've ripped the paper or something like that. Um, what we're going to do is going to paint the edge on uh, with a few techniques. Um, we're not going to paint on the picture because as always it's better to do it with extra layers. So I can add a pixel layer here and I'm going to paint with this. I'm going to go to the paintbrush tool here and I'm going to get myself a brush that will look good. So I just go to the brushes here, rather than just the ordinary sort of brushes. I go to one of the others down here, and there's lots of others down here. You've got all these things here. I'm just going to go to the drawing brushes and just take the first brush there. Then to make the brush bigger, a right square bracket, so it's big enough to what I like. Uh, I'm going to paint in black, so I'm going to go to colours and say make it black. So here we go. And I'm going to put roughly the centre of the circle on the corner there. So I click there. I could draw just freehand and you can do that and get a sort of a natural one. You can also go to another corner here and shift click it and you'll get a kind of straight line. Then shift click. Then shift click. And this is nice and quick as well. And shift click up there. So there you go. There's a raggedy border. But if you want it to be a bit darker towards the edge, very simply go out again here. So click here now and shift click. See the centre is now a bit further out. So when I draw the line, I'm not losing the nice raggediness on the inside, but I'm adding a bit more dark on the outside. So shift click there, shift click here, and shift click there. So there we go. That's our instant raggedy border. And what you can do as well now is some alternatives. What if I'd like to have some colour other than black there? Well, I can turn this into a mask. But if I undo the bottom one, so I'm just looking at the pixel layer there, you can see that actually the background there is transparent. And for a mask, I'd like it to be black and white. Easy way to fill this in. Go to Edit and Matte. And this will fill you in with any colour, any transparent pixels here. So I've just got white there already, so I just apply that. Now I've got nice black and white. So now I can convert it into a mask. So if I enable the back and background layer, uh, you can't see it now because I've got solid colour on top of it and the pixel layer. But if all I'm going to do is go to Layer and Rasterize to Mask, and there you go. You can see it's actually cutting its way through there because the white's keeping it and the black is knocking through there. So what I'm going to do now is to get some colour underneath here. I want a layer underneath here and I'll just use a fill layer. But you can put anything you like there really. So layer, new fill layer. So that's a white layer. That's at the top at the moment. I'm going to put this at the bottom. But it's not showing through here because this mask needs to be applied directly to this. So I drag the mask down so you get the little vertical blue bar there. Then let go. And there we go. Now we've got the colour of this. But what I can do with this, I can take this now and I can change it to any colour I like by clicking up here. So what I'm going to do is, um, I let, let's choose a colour from within the picture there. So I'll take the pipette there, or you could use the one over here. Here's a typical one. We can go over there. Let's take the colour of that light green there, then click on the circle. And there you go, it's applied around the outside. So there we go, really easy how to add a raggedy border and change the colour of it as well. So thank you very much for watching.